so good morning good afternoon good evening friends today we are going to discuss on ccna interview questions and answers so these interview questions and answers are most important when preparing for the ccna interviews so let's get started so i'll off my video and we can start if you want all these ccna interview questions and answers free of cost in pdf format kindly mail me on complexsql at gmail.com which you can see it on the screen also the condition is to subscribe the channel and click on bell icon so that is main and key important condition which i i will check okay so just subscribe the channel click on bell icon and send me the mail on complexsql at gmail.com Let's get started with the questions and answer series. First question, what is VLAN? How does it work? Answer for the same, a VLAN stands for Virtual Local Area Network. Virtual Local Area Network is logical grouping of the devices within a network regardless of physical locations it enables the segmentation for security, broadcast control and performance reasons. I have given the example for each and every question which you can utilize in the interviews. Example for the same, in company network, VLAN can be configured to separate departments like HR, finance, IT and allowing each to have its own broadcast domain and security policies. Second interview question. Explain the difference between a router and a switch. This is most most important interview question asked in every interviews. Okay. Answer for the same. A router operates at layer 3 that is network layer of OSI model. You might know the OSI model and layering of the OSI model. That is very very important. Okay. A router operates at layer 3 that is network layer of OSI model and forward the data packets between different networks. While a switch operates at layer 2 that is data link layer and forwards the data within the same network. Okay. Example for the same, a router connects multiple networks like connecting a company network to the internet. While a switch connects devices within a single network such as connecting computers in office LAN. Third interview question, what is purpose of subnetting? Subnetting, what is subnetting? Subnetting divides a network into smaller and more manageable subnetworks to improve the network performance, security and efficiency in the address location. Subnetting is very very important concept while you are uh, working with the networking. So, uh, if you can see the network is the huge, uh, it is a huge elephant. You require to divide it into smaller pieces. So that smaller pieces is called as a subnetting. Okay which improves why we are using the subnetting it improves the performance it improves the security and it improves the efficiency in address location example for the same subnetting allows a large network to be divided into smaller subnetworks each of its own unique subnet addresses reducing the network congestion and improving data transfer speeds these are the important things fourth question how does arp or address resolution protocol works. ARP stands for address resolution protocol. How it works? ERP resolves IP addresses to MAC addresses within a local network by broadcasting a request for MAC addresses associated with a specific IP address. Okay. Example, when a computer wants to communicate to another device on the same network, it sends out the ARP request asking who has this IP address. The device with the IP response, it's MAC address. Okay, it is not an IP address, it's MAC address. Simple. Next question, what is the purpose of DHCP? DHCP stands for Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. DHCP automatically assigns the IP addresses, subnet masks. We have discussed about subnet, what exactly the subnet is and other network configurations configuration information to the devices on the network which simplifies the network administration dhcp is simplifying the network administration its utilization uh, it is used to 
simplify the network administration okay which automatically assigns ip address and subnet mask and other network configurations simple three things to remember over here when a device is, device connects to a network it sends example for the same when device connects to a network it sends dhcp request a dhcp server responds with an ip address and other network settings enabling the device to communicate on the network okay next interview question what is nat network address translation and why it is used this is also very very important question NAT translates the private IP addresses used within a local network into public IP addresses used in the internet. Private IP addresses where we are using it's, it's in local network. And this translation needs to be done from private to public IP addresses where we are using the internet. Allowing multiple devices to share a single public IP address. Okay. So multiple devices is sharing a single public IP address why it is important in company network it is very very important where you require to translate the private ip address to public ip address to utilize the internet example a home router uses nat to allow multiple devices such as computers smartphones smart tvs to access internet using the single public ip address assigned by the internet service provider you can see in your home like only one router is there you are using the uh, your company laptop, you are using your iPhones, phones, you are using uh, multiple devices like TVs. Nowadays, smart TVs are there. We are connecting to the smart TVs. For that, we are using NAT, that is Network Address Translation. Got it? Next interview question What is the difference between TCP and UDP? This is most common, most common question for the freshers. TCP stands for translation. Transmission Control Protocol, which provides reliable connection oriented communication with error checking and retransmission. While UDP, User Datagram Protocol, which provides connectionless communication without error checking and guaranteed delivery. Okay. Example TCP is used in application like web browsing and email, where data integrity is very, very crucial. Where data integrity is crucial, you require to use TCP. While well, UDP is used in real-time applications such as streaming media, online gaming, where speed is prioritized over reliability. Okay, simple things. Simple example you can give. Eighth interview, eighth, inter eighth interview question: What is default gateway and why it is important? Answer for the same: A default gateway is IP address of the router that connects to the local network to other networks such as internet. It is essential for the devices on the network to communicate with the devices on other networks too okay example is a home network the default gateway is the ip address of the router provided by the internet service provider allowing all the devices in home to access all the internet correct next is what is spanning tree protocol that is stp and why it is used this protocol is also important if you are doing the ccna all protocols are very very important okay so you require to by heart all those things. STP prevents the network loops in Ethernet networks by automatically disabling redundant links to ensure a loop free topology. Okay. Example for the same in network with multiple switches interconnected STP ensures that one path is active at the time between the two switches and preventing broadcast storms and network instability caused in the loop. Next is what is ACL, access control list and how it is used in networking. Answer for the same, an ACL is a set of rules used to control the network traffic by filtering the packets based on the criteria such as source and destination IP addresses, protocols and port numbers. Example for the same, an ACL can configured on a router to allow or deny specific types of traffic such as allowing http traffic to web server while blocking other traffic too 11th question explain the concept of qos quality of service in the networking 
Answer for the same. QoS prioritizes certain type of network traffic over others to ensure the consistent level of performance for critical applications and services. Big short companies, big companies are using QoS. Okay. Example for the same in voice over internet protocol, VOIP network or network. QoS can be configured to prioritize voice traffic to maintain call quality even during the period of the network congestion. Okay. Next question, what is purpose of ICMP, Internet Control Message Protocol? I told you the protocols are very, very important over here. If you are doing CCNA. ICMP is used to send the error messages and operational information between the network devices, such as notifying the sender that a destination is unreachable. If destination is unreachable, then we are using this protocol. When ping command is used to test the network connectivity, ICMP, everyone might have used the ping command, right? So ICMP echo request, we are sending it to the server and echo reply will be send, sent by that devices to check reachability and measure the response times. Next is explain OSI model and its seven layers. This is important concept. You might have to learn that seven layers. The OSI, OSI stands for Open System Interconnection Model. It's conceptual framework that standardizes the functions of telecommunication or computing system into seven layers. What are those seven layers? First is physical layer, second is data link layer, third is network layer, fourth is transport layer, then session layer, presentation layer, and application layer. Okay. Example, I'll give you one, one example, one layer example only. You require to learn all those things. Okay. I'll put all seven layers in the description section. You require to go through all those seven layers. The physical layer deals with the physical connection between the devices, such as cables, connectors, while application layer provides the network services directly to the end users, such as email and file transfer. Okay. Next is what is purpose of ARP poisoning and how it can be prevented. ARP poisoning is important concept in the network. ARP poisoning is the technique used to intercept the network traffic by sending ARP messages to associate the attacker's MAC address with IP address of legitimate device. Example for the same, to prevent ARP poisoning, network administrator can implement measures such as port security, you have you have seen if you are working in the big companies you, you require to open the ports close the ports right that is called as port security dhcp snooping and dynamic arp inspection to detect and mitigate malicious arp attacks last interview question how do you troubleshoot a network connectivity issue this is for the freshers or for experienced people for everyone this is important troubleshooting network connectivity involves identifying isolating the source of the problem by checking the physical connections first you require to check a physical connection second verify the ip configurations third test the network services using diagnosis tools such as ping trace route or net stack those are the examples of diagnostics tools example for the same if a user reports being unable to access the internet i would start checking their device has IP address assigned via DHCP. Then verify the connectivity to default gateway by using ping command. Then proceed with the double troubleshooting and DNS resolution if necessary. Okay. So these 15 interview questions are most most important interview question in the CCNA. So please go through each and every interview question. These are all important interview questions. If you require the free pdf for this interview question you require to subscribe the channel click on bell icon and send me mail on complex at gmail.com which you can see on the screen thanks for watching this video till end hope this is useful your comments are really useful for me cheers